My son Seth recently said that my fans are waiting for my videos and I haven't been updating my videos of late. So, hey fans, you can thank my son Seth for this video. All uh, 18 of you, I guess. Thanks for watching. But uh, one thing that one thing that I've learned, at least in my head, because I haven't put it into practice, which means I haven't really learned it yet, is this: you get better quality with more quantity. Uh, a famous study was conducted by a famous professor whom I do not know and he asked his college class to make pots pottery you know the stuff that you form out of clay you throw a pot you uh, whatever it is you make pots so he had one team um, who were given the instructions to make the best pot possible. And the other team was given the instruction to make as many pots as possible. And within a certain time limit. And at the end of that time, uh, the professor gauged the quality of the pots that the two teams made and guess what guess which team made the better quality pot conventional wisdom well of course you already know the answer by now the way i'm telegraphing it conventional wisdom says that you need to put in your effort your thinking your planning you need to put in all of that at the outset and that's how you get a perfect result. That's what we learn in school. You need to study, you need to do your notes, you need to have your revision plans, you need to cram the night before the exam, and then the months of study will culminate in this final exam that you sit for. And if you've done your work right, if you've done your homework, so the conventional wisdom goes, you'll come up with an excellent result in your exam. So what happens normally is that some people, okay, some people do it right. They actually learn the stuff. Some people just don't do well with tests and some people test well. They cram, they regurgitate facts for the exam and they promptly forget the facts. That's the way we learn in school. But the second team from this famous professor's famous experiment, they were told not to focus on quality but on quantity. Their task was to create as many pots as possible within the time limit. So they just set about without much thinking just a basic amount of thinking and planning and preparation and then they started making pots and making pots and making pots and making pots and the more pots they made the better they got at it no doubt some of those pots would have been crap especially probably the first few ones but as they kept making those pots they improved and they got better and better at making those pots and in the final analysis the best pot came from group two, who were told to focus on quantity. So anyway, what am I saying? See, I thought this was going to be like a four minute video. Basically, I guess what I'm trying to say is spurred on by my son. I am trying to put into practice what I preach. So I'm going to just put these videos out here 
ideally every day. But who knows whether that's going to happen. This is going to be a daily video anyway. And on some days, it just might not appear. But it's meant to be a daily video. So we'll see how it goes.